BG Rides here. Thanks for tuning in. Been kind of keeping my eye out for some type of lock for this guy. And I came across one of the rotor locks and I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing and a review of this guy. So stick around, put your feet up, kick back, and uh, enjoy the show. Okay, let's get to it. This is from T. Chippy. T. Chippy. Not sure about the name, but I guess that doesn't really matter. But it's one of those alarm disc uh, locks that you can hook up to your rotor. And it's just saying it comes with the batteries. It has a really loud 110 dB alarm. And it has a 7 millimeter lock pin. It says waterproof, but I doubt that. And it's one of the sensor styles that um, sounds off the alarm if the bike's moved around, if this thing starts to move around at all. Um, there's other types like this that do not have an alarm, but this one does. And then there's some specs, 110 dB for disc brakes, IP06 water resistant, which I think it means it can get rained on, but you wouldn't want to submerge it for very long. Has a five foot uh, reminder cable, which is kind of nice that you can put a cable from up here down to the lock so you don't forget in the morning and you know start trying to drive somewhere and break your rotor. L44 batteries has six of them. There's six that are already installed and then six more for replacement ones and then just some instructions. But uh, see what's inside. Looks like reminder cables. Looks like you got batteries. We'll open this up. Here's the lock. Feels really heavy. It's got some good weight to it. Feels like high quality. And then some instructions which you're never supposed to read the instructions. But for the lock, there it is right here. And then that's where your rotor goes through right there. And then your key sits up there. And the rotor disc goes through here. And then for the accessory pack, There's the keys. So the keys go in up here, like that. Looks like this is the little wrench. This is your Allen wrench right here. And that's for, you know, getting into here. And then uh, this is your extra battery pack right here. And then it looks like it comes with a little carrying case. That's kind of nice. Throw all that stuff in here so it doesn't rattle around in your saddlebags or in your bike. Seems to fit pretty tight. There's enough room for a key and stuff like that. Extra batteries can sit in here. So uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and take this apart. So we just got to take out this screw. There's a couple down in here. And then there's a one here. And this should just separate like that. That's the housing. 
then let me take these little screws out. So that's what it looks like inside. I think this right here is the sensor or the switch that is for the alarm. Right in here is where your batteries go. So when it comes time, oh, when it comes time to replace your batteries, you just replace this pack. So that kind of gives you an idea. So it doesn't look waterproof, but they have a little o-ring around here looks like they did a pretty good job trying to you know seal it off anyway let's put it back together okay and then there's a little disc in here a little foam paper disc for shipping so let's go try it out okay well let's go ahead and try and install this bad boy so I think all we need to do is get our reminder cable and then you want to take this and just slide it into the slot like that and let's go put it on. So first we need to take this, put it over that and then come down to the rotor. And then you just bring this end, you bring this end down here, and right inside there is where the pin is. The pin's gonna go through one of these holes. You just kind of line it up, push this in through the hole, and that's all you do. Let me get the key out, give you an idea real quick. So when you push, you push that down, that little beep is telling you that it's armed and ready to go. And then to disarm it, you just put the key in. You can tell how touchy it is. There's a notch in the key. And that's how you disarm it. So when you push it in, oops, it's armed. And then if you tap it, that's like a warning telling you, hey, and then if you do it again, move it around. Then you use the key. The key turns it off. Like that. So you just take it. You put it through like that. And that's all you do. And then if somebody tries to steal your bike, this moves around, trips the... Oh, better stop. Oh, no, can't stop. I'm gonna try and steal it. Oh, oh my God, get away, get away. And that's how you turn it off. So that's all there is to it. It does say in the instructions, if you're not gonna use this for a while to take the battery out, I don't know what a while means, but they came with batteries in it. But anyway, you just go ahead, give it a push, it's armed. And that's all you got to do and from a little bit of research I did it's good to have this close to your uh, caliper and then uh, there's a little notch right here in the key that lines up with the notch and there you go so that's all there is to it that reminder cable is about five feet long. So if you have some apes, that might be stretching it pretty tight, but it'll, it'll probably work. All in all, I think it's actually a pretty good lock. I would probably give it two thumbs up for sure. A little extra security when you're in a hotel in some unknown city or town. And you just wanna kinda make sure your bike has a little bit better chance of being there in the morning. But anyway, hope this gives you some good info. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you on the next ride.